Hey, what's up, Audio Files? It's your wingman, Mag320, and I'm actually here to talk about the G Track Pro from uh, Samsung. Did I say Samsung? Samson. Samson. It's the difference between Samsung and Samson. I'm probably going to get called out for that too. This specific item here can actually be used for things like podcasts, desk video stuff, I guess. Definitely a sleek design, stylish, black. No, this one's white, I'm sorry. Silver. Professional USB studio microphone with the audio interface to them. So I don't know if you can see that there, but that's basically the setup, display setup, and then you have, what see what it's supposed to look like there. So yeah, this specific uh, thing I actually do like. This also came from B&H. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this product and see what it's about. All right, so I actually previously unboxed another previous um, USB microphone. I forgot exactly what I did with it, but USB microphones are pretty much the alternative to say, for example, this specific microphone here, which is from Rode. Put these headphones back up so I don't fall in my face. There you go. Obviously, Rode condenser microphones are uh, basically, um, you gotta get an XLR cable or a, an additional uh, microphone or headphone jack or something like that. Plug it into a audio interface um, via XLR or something like that or a speak on cable and plug into a computer. So with the USB microphones, this would be the Samsung microphone here. Samson, Samson microphone here. This can actually be used, if you can see at the bottom there, it ha actually has the USB setup here. So you can just plug it straight into the computer and the computer basically picks it up. You can also use this at, in addition to a webcam if the webcam that you have does not have a good enough microphone for people to, I'm sorry, for you to speak into and for others to um, hear into, I guess, or hear out of. I don't know, I mean, I gotta, I gotta, there's a little bit of syntax errors with that. Once, once it goes on full display, it actually has a whole bunch of um, features here which includes the the mic the mic knob the inter instru instrument knob if you'd plan on putting in an instrument in here as well as a volume knob and a, a mute button so it seems to me you can actually put in a something like a guitar or a piano or something like that if you have a, if you have a piano or a uh, midi out piano controller that you um, want to put in here so that can definitely go in there as well you can also monitor your voice using the on and off switch which as well, if you want to hear yourself to, uh actually hear yourself talk. I don't necessarily need it, uh, but it has definitely a, feature to ha a good feature to have if you're like on Zoom or something like that. So definitely something worth to have. But largely, this is a, a USB function or USB functional uh, microphone. So like I said, it can go straight into a computer. Most traditional microphones usually go via XR or XLR, or if you have like a wireless microphone, it goes uh, straight into the uh, a, um, an interface box. And like I said, you could have like the traditional Omni mics, condenser, condenser mics, or uh, ribbon mics, which usually have to be powered via the audio interface or some kind of a signal board, switchboard, mix board, something like that. Usually goes that way. Um, so this is, is something that is an alternative to that. This is actually $120, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, $120 and you just sit on the desk. I'm not necessarily using it because I like the condenser microphone better, but this is a definitely, if you're, on, if you're traveling somewhere, this is definitely something great to use. So this is the G-Track Pro. I got the uh, top-down view going there. Uh, uh, so uh, top-down photography going there so you guys can see the unboxing experience. So yeah, um, definitely worth something to use. It is metal uh, from the inside out, so it's, there's no plastic parts besides the black pieces here. All, all the black, black pieces are plastic, but the rest of it is metal. Uh, hold on a second. Let's try it again. <laughs> it's metal. Definitely metal. So, metal parts here. Most of it's metal and it has a, a solid base to it as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, there's a switch to it. I didn't, I didn't even notice a switch. So, you can also uns, uh, unscrew this. Yeah, you can unscrew this, which is good. There's a, there's a little feature I didn't know about. So, you can definitely unscrew this as well. So it can uh, actually also double as a, as a, you can use it as a condenser microphone. You don't necessarily have to do that, but that is definitely something worth, I even, I even realized I couldn't unscrew like that. So that's something that surprised me a little bit. 
<laughs> I wish I could have recorded that. Anyway, so yeah, this can be used as music production or podcast or anything like that. It is definitely a multi-purpose microphone. There we go. Got it. So yeah, definitely recommend this. Um, definitely worth the price. Um, definitely can be used for pretty much anything and everything. When you are using a microphone, especially a condenser or a ribbon microphone, or might be, or you know, or something like this, this is, this is more of a switching microphone. I'm not sure exactly if they have a Fig Eight or Omni. Okay, so cardioid, Omni, and Figure Eight. There's a switch here that you can uh, switch for for Omni, Fig, cardioid, or Figure Eight. So it has different, definite frequency, um, different, um, definite different types of audio capture with this. I'll have to actually test this out and I don't have time for that. If you decide to uh, pick this up, definitely check out the preferences that go with this. So especially if you are a, a musician or a podcaster or something like that, definitely check the check the settings on these. Check the manual to make sure you didn't miss anything. But other than that, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I definitely recommend this. Definitely would be good for any uh, whatever sub that you have. So if you have any uh, other products um, that you would like for me to, or items, should I say, that you would like for me to display on this channel, definitely let me know. Destroy that like button, give it a share, put a comment, and sub my channel so you know I can get you more, you know, more and more better content. And yeah, just let me know what's going on. I and mean, if you have any other uh, computer stuff that you would like for me to display on this channel as well, definitely let me know so uh, I can uh, get that going as well because I do have extensive computer knowledge as well as audio and stuff like that. So I do want to mention that I will be diving into how to put music together, which um, de which does include house music, dubstep, some a little bit of, I don't want to say jazz, but like um, industrial jazz. That one I got to figure out too. So if you would like to check out my SoundCloud, SoundCloud page as well as my Audius page, um, I will definitely post the links into the description below. Um, you can also look up as well, which is Village Lions for SoundCloud as and Village Lions and Audius. They should be able to come up. If not, just hit the links below. They should be they should be able to take you there. Um, all right, guys. I will see you in the next video. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you then.